So our first uh, speaker is uh, Lars Pederbreck. He's uh, Director General at uh, Altin. It's a very important digital platform for e-government in Norway. Please welcome Lars Pederbreck. Okay, thank, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for this opportunity to tell you about the Brønnesund Register Center and our digital infrastructure called Altin. Uh, yes. uh, the Brønnesund Register Center was established in the beginning of the 1980s. Since then we have built up some of Norway's most important registers and services for trust and simplification. It is impor important in this, in, in this situation to underline following aspects with regards to registers and Altin. The first one is that registration of legal and financial rights constitute efficient instruments for obtaining financing and protection for creditor interests. The second is access to legally valid electronic information ensures transparency and a sound basis for decisions by actors in the business community. The third is that electronically available information and services provides for reuse of information and simplification both for public and private sector. The fourth is that the uh, Brønnesund Register Center has a national mandate in Norway to promote utilization of information already collected, the only ones principle. We have, we have, we have user-friendly electronic services and proposing amendments in the legal framework to reduce the administrative burdens for business. And the fifth and the last is that interaction between high quality registers and digitalization services as Altin contributes significantly to good governance in the whole society. And the last one is maybe the most important one. Uh, Altin are in contact with the whole Norwegian population and with all enterprises in Norway, 100%. In our work on modernization, simplification and improvement, this modern digital infrastructure is essential. Together with partners, the Brønnes Register Center has built and developed Altin in terms of personnel, organization, technology and business terms. High quality basic registers are very important, uh, are a very important precondition for Altin and for efficient and user friendly digital services. And uh, as an example, Altin is for example used to register the names of newborn child, children, to register choice of school, culture, application, tax returns, etc. etc. Enterprises and if we talk of them, we can say they, they are born into Altin and they die out of Altin. They are all within Altin. I can also add that a lot of innovation can be achieved by exploiting the potential of both the registers and the Altin platform in cooperation with actors in public and private sector. A uh, common misunderstanding about Altin is that it's just an internet portal. Altin is an internet portal as well, but Altin's strength lies in the platform itself. A digital infrastructure that links together public agencies, municipalities, enterprises and the country inhabitants. Altin is based on open standards and open interfaces and it's based on a shared understanding of data. That's why Brønnes Register Center is investing heavily these days in information management and governance. How can Altin and the Brønnes Register Center be a partner for enterprises in Norway and Ukraine in building up a new digital platform? That's the, the, the main question, of course. First, it's important for me to underline that our Norwegian solution could not be directly copied in another country. Legal framework, culture, traditions, and organizational and technical basis 
could be different in different countries. Being a government agency, we are not in a position to sell solutions or alone undertake responsibilities for deliveries in other countries. We can or we may provide ad advisory services including innovative processes together with either other governmental agencies or Norwegian companies, Norwegian, Norwegian private companies with academia or maybe also directly to foreign government bodies, for example in Ukraine. Advisory services may include the whole range of the BRC portfolio. But it's also important to underline that due to limited resources, all cooperation will, re will require predefined agreements and good financial solutions between the parties. And, uh, and, uh, and it's, uh, of course, uh, obvious, but as a governmental agency, uh, we act according to decisions made by the Norwegian government. Let's say that's right at the last. Uh, today we have, uh, today we have uh, 42 different governmental agencies using, using Altin. Uh, and they are presenting a total of more than 400 different services through Altin. It's all from the police, the health sector, the, the food sector, the everything but in the future we will increase these these agencies to maybe between two and six hundreds we are increasing our activities in Norway at these these days and as a oh wrong button that's the right one uh, this is maybe an example that we are having very good results or over our users having a very good result using Altin. For example, reporting of biomass, the director of the fisheries, they have 100% digital transport of communication. And, and you see uh, uh, annual accounts, 86% digital, digital uh, uh, communication, etc., etc. One year after we launched the, the new service, name changes, also people can change name, they send an application, 66% of all name changes went to Altin. So if you have a newborn child, you can also say, I want this child to have a name, you can do it through Altin. You send this information digital to, to, the, to the authorities, to the, the register of, of people, for example. So this is, it's a very big range of possibilities using this, this, this uh, digital infrastructure. So, um, so, for example, uh, what's important here to get these high levels of, of using Altin is that we, are, we have, for example, with regard to annual accounts, uh, it, it will be 100% from the 1st of January to this year because it's made ma mandatory by, by law. So this is a close connection with, uh, with lawmaking how to use, use Altin in the future. I think it's, uh, that will be very important also for using Altin or the Altin system out of, on the outside of Norway. So I think I have used my 10 minutes. Uh, thank you for your at attention. This is my, where we live in the coast of Norway, in the middle part of Norway. Thank you.